Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. Today we are going to do exercise 21a from congruency chapter. Question number 1. State the condition. That is side 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 SSS or SAS. Okay side angle side or angle side angle that is ASA or RHS right angle hypotenuse side. On the which triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. In each of the following cases, number one is here you have seen triangle ABC is given here, and here triangle PQR is given here. Okay, so the length of PQ and AB is same. Okay, that is 2.5 centimeter here. It is also 2.5 centimeter here. Okay, and the length of uh, QR is 4 centimeter. Similarly, BC is 4 centimeters. Corresponding sides are equal. And the length of CA as the triangle is ABC, we have to see AB and BC, then after CA. Okay, so in triangle PQR also we have to see PQ, okay, corresponding to AB and corresponding to BC we have to see QR and we find these line segments equal in both the triangles. Now CA is 3.5 centimeter and RP is also 3.5 centimeter. So these two triangles are congruent according to which rule? SS s rule okay so we can write here therefore triangle because it is said state the condition only ss s or sas or asa or rhs so among these four conditions here these two triangles are congruent because of ss s rule okay so we have to write we have to state in this manner triangle a B C is congruent to triangle P Q R in bracket you write S S S okay side 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 rule by this condition these two triangles are congruent now next figure let us see here next figure is question number two now see this double line and here double line this is a single line cut and this is single line cot uh, or you can say double dash given here double dash given here here single dash and here single dash what this means this means that this line that is AB is equal to PQ okay and AC is equal to PR so let us give the reference to this 90 degree this symbol is given for 90 degree okay this and here also it is 90 degree now the triangle name is ABC okay and here the triangle name is PQR okay so in this two triangle line segment AB is equals to PQ okay and then after the angle is equal AB and angle PQ and angle okay AB is a side PQ is a side then angle okay side angle then what side angle side side angle side it should be but here we have to go for side angle side is not working here so we have to check in this manner so here it is um, hypotenuse look at this opposite of 90 degree that is this hypotenuse this is a right angle triangle so uh, I have said in my explanation class for right angle triangle we have to see at first RHS rule is applying or not over there okay so here with the help of RHS let us try so first 90 degree is there then after we'll go for hypotenuse hypotenuse AC is equals to PR okay and any one of the side of the triangles should be equal that is AB is equals to PQ so I think you have understood these two are right angle triangle okay where Mm, these two angles are equal 90 degree and hypotenuse is equal and the sides 
are equal okay so therefore these two triangles are congruent because of rhs rule okay so we have to write therefore triangle a b c is congruent to triangle p q r by what rule r h s okay right angle hypotenuse and side by this condition these two triangles are congruent now next figure that is three number is here so this is also 90 degree here given here also 90 degree given okay so but the hypotenuse see the hypotenuse is not given no information about hypotenuse what is the length we don't know of these two hypotenuse okay so here we go for another rule that is uh, we are not going for rhs since the hypotenuse information is not given so we'll go for another condition to check whether these two triangles are congruent or not okay so here we can see here mm, two angles are given and one side is given included side the side which is which is in between these two angles is called as included side here also included side is given two angles and one side in between okay so this two included side is also equal because it is given one dash here and here also one dash so that means these two angles are uh, sorry these two sides are equal okay now so we are going for angle side angle rule to check these two triangles so first the name of this angle uh, triangle is a b c and this triangle name is p q r so reference is b and q okay so angle a b c is equals to angle p q r that is both are 90 degree then after side we are going for a b a b is equals to p q it is given in the figure a b is equals to p q okay and next is the angle again angle b no angle a b c we are calling it as the triangle name so this angle will call it as c a b okay the angle name is c a b as it goes a b c then c a b okay so this angle name is c a b and here the angle name is this angle name because 35 corresponding to this is this angle okay so r p q is equals is equal okay so here c a b is equals to r p q corresponding angles so corresponding angles corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal in these two triangles then these two triangles are congruent according to which rule according to a s a okay so let us write triangle a b c okay is congruent to triangle p q r by which rule a s a angle side angle rule okay next figure is next figure is four number here you can see triangle name is a c b and another triangle name is uh, p r q okay p r q this time the angle triangle name is p r q because we are giving reference to this uh, this angle okay this angle so the tri triangle name is okay we can name it like this also a b c and with the reference of this one p q r okay b and q we are giving the reference to these two corresponding angles b and q so the triangle name is a b c and this triangle name is p q r in these two triangle see this opposite of um, 90 degree that is hypotenuse is not equal okay so this also opposite of 90 degree the hypotenuse is not given any information we don't know whether it is equal or not because information is not given in the figure no information given so here uh, other informations we have to check that is 90 degree given here 90 degree given here okay and this line segment that is bc is equal to uh, qr okay and another line segment ca is equals to uh, rp okay because and triangle name is pqr that is why rp that is why qr we have to call the line segment in this manner okay so 
naming the triangle is also very important over here a b c and p q r so these two are the reference or the corresponding angles we are um, we are just trying to examine okay so uh, this figure these two figures by looking at it by which rule these two are congruent these two are congruent by side angle side isn't it side angle side included angle is there that means uh, between two sides one angle is there which is equal to with this angle which is also included angle between two sides okay and corresponding sides are also equal okay then we have to write this triangle abc triangle abc is congruent to triangle what p q r in bracket by which rule we have to mention it okay s a s that is side angle side okay okay now question number two state giving reasons which of the following are pairs of congruent triangles write down the names of triangles with congruent sign in each case wherever they are congruent okay so this is the figure and we have to give the state the reasons okay and we have to name the triangles and we have to show them they are congruent if they are congruent okay so first of all naming the triangle naming the triangle we have to see both the triangles properly corresponding angles we have to see corresponding sides we have to see properly so here uh, let us give the reference to this angle 60 degree okay uh, and here this 60 degree so in this manner the triangle name is a b c okay here the triangle name will be f d e okay so the in triangle a b c we have to write in this manner in triangle a b c and and triangle f d e okay <clears throat> so here the angle is equal okay before that we can see this side a b is equal to f d okay so here these two angles are equal 50 and 50 so angle angle side rule angle angle side rule we can see here so to name this angle as the name of this triangle is a b c so the angle name of this will be a b c so b c a in triangle a b c b c a angle b c a is equals to is equals to in triangle f d e angle d e f angle d e f are equal this is also 50 this is also 50 degree in the bracket why they are equal they are of same magnitude that is 50 degree and which is given in the figure given in the figure and here this angle 60 degree okay angle angle side we are going for this angle name is a b c angle a b c is equals to angle f d e angle f d e why they are equal because both the angles are of 60 degree okay both the angles are of 60 degree and which is given in the figure so we have to write this all information also and now the side angle angle and side now a b a b is equals to f d okay a b in triangle a b c a b is equals to f d okay so it is also given in the figure okay so finally what we can write is therefore triangle a b c triangle a b c is congruent to triangle f d 
E and by what rule we have shown these two triangles are congruent that is angle angle side okay in this manner we have to go for another sum also thank you very much